How's it going YouTube? It's your boy Mr. Rejuvenator. Today we will be cleaning this pair of Uggs using our four ounce three brush set. I don't think we've cleaned a pair of Uggs to put on um, YouTube before, but we are gonna do that today. They're pretty thrashed, so I got my work cut out ahead of me. Um, so I guess let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the shoes, doesn't matter. I guess I'll just clean the right one. Just set that one over there. And we're gonna dry brush all of this excess dirt and grime and junk off of this onto this towel. Throw this away so we have a cleaner surface um, before we add the water and solution. Get rid of these squeaks. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, adjust this shoe tree to fit inside this UGG. I'm not sure the size, we'll take a guess. Let's see if this maintains the form. It's a pretty good guess. Again, what we use the shoe tree for is to maintain the form of the shoe so we can apply pressure to the toe box when cleaning. It's just gonna get you a much better clean. Now that we've done that, take our four ounce bottle of solution, a couple squirts, and the next step, a soft bristle brush. I always start with the soft bristle brush first to loosen the dirt and just kind of as the initial cleaning process, the first step, and then I'll move on to the stiffer bristle brushes after that. So let's go. Being that this is some sort of suede material, you wanna make sure that you clean the entire shoe evenly. You don't wanna spot clean just a specific section of the shoe. All right, so before I change waters, what I'm gonna do is take the stiff bristle brush and on the midsole, there's just a ton of gunky dirt. So let me get that off first before we go ahead and clean this water up. Again, just let the brush do the work. There's no need to apply too much pressure. All right, so we're making a mess. It's okay. It's all for a purpose. I'm gonna add a little more solution to the clean water that I have, and I'm gonna go back to the soft bristle brush and just kind of go over the entire shoe one more time, um, even this out, and try to get the excess dirt off. I don't suggest, there's a couple reasons I don't suggest putting this particular shoe in the washing machine. Number one, I'm not exactly sure how structurally sound this is just because there's not a ton of seams and stuff. So it, it may not last in the washing machine. Um, number two, I think people, one of the reasons people wear Uggs is because of this inside comfort. It's gonna totally change the texture of this fur inside and I don't think it would feel as good on the foot. So now that we went over the uppers with the soft bristle brush, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the medium bristle brush to do a deeper clean on this material. Let's do it. So again, anytime you use the medium bristle brushes um, or stiffer bristle brush on an upper, just make sure you let the brush do the work. You don't want to apply too much pressure and damage the material. We designed the brushes specifically for this reason and that's why you have multiple brushes. So I do possibly see some color bleed too coming out of this material. So I'm gonna hold off on the uppers, let it dry, see how it looks. Last brush I'm gonna use is stiff bristle. I'm gonna go over the midsole one more time just to clean it up. Um, and then we're gonna basically let the shoe dry, 
come back and see if we need to clean it again. Okay, so basically what we need to do is let this boot dry and once it's completely dry, I'll look at it again, see if it needs any more attention. If not, we'll conclude the video, show you the before and after, and that'll be it. We'll be back. How's it going YouTube? Mr. Rejuvenator back. Day two on the cleaning shoot. I have these Uggs that I cleaned up yesterday, let them dry overnight. What I'm gonna do today is they, they are a little stiff, the material. I'm gonna reset the nap with probably these two brushes here, spray some mink oil on them, bring the color back, get that nice soft feel, and then dry brush them with this. So let's do it. First brush I'm using is the medium bristle brush here, and we're just gonna go ahead and start brushing out some of this material. So you can see the nap starting to raise. You wanna be careful, you don't wanna make it too damage the material, so I'm just gonna start hitting this a little bit lighter. see some of the material. They don't use the best material for Uggs, but you can see some of it down here. So just want to be careful. I'm not even going to use the media or the brass bristle brush. I have a feeling that this is, this uh, material is too delicate. I don't want to damage it. So I'm just going to basically finish up with this spray it with some mink oil and we should be good to go. Vic Almighty mink oil. Don't spray inside. I'm doing it. We're in the studio, but this is recommended to be sprayed outside. Well, uh, well ventilated areas. So you know, hopefully I don't kill any more brain cells than I have already. <laughs> Basically after spraying Vic Almighty Mink Oil, using this brush to kind of massage it into the material, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. You can see there the nap is set. Um, we'll get a close up of that. All right guys, that's gonna conclude this video on these Uggs. We used our four ounce three brush set. Both brushes we used to reset the nap are in this kit and we also used the Almighty Mink Oil, which you can find on rejuvenator.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're bringing you new videos every single week. That's gonna be it. Peace. <laughs>